So this summer I asked my husband if he could get somebody to do us a bridge for our 70 acre farm. Most of it is in the mountains and the ridges and we like to get over there with our four wheelers and our side by sides to hunt and hike. So uh, everybody has that guy, that guy that can do anything. Well Danny is our guy that can do anything. So Mike got Danny to come out here and construct us a bridge and looks like it was made for Dollywood, not for a creek. So. So in case you were wondering about how to construct a bridge like this to cross a creek, we wanted this bridge to be strong enough to be able to take our side by side and our four wheelers across. But we also wanted it strong enough to be able to drive our tractor across because we have some jobs that we like to do on the other side. So what we did was we ordered 24, 24 foot long, 12 inch I-beams and had them brought in and uh, then we took those I-beams and we welded pipe on the bottom of them. And then we dug a hole. We come back aw away from the creek bank about five feet on both sides. And we dug a hole in the ground and then we welded those pipes on, flipped the I-beams so that the pipe would go down in the ground. And then we mixed concrete and concreted those in. And we're glad we did because uh, this winter, the creek got really high and if we hadn't have done that, there'd been a possibility of the bridge being moved. But because we did it that way, it's got the weight of the I-beams and also the anchoring of the pipes in the concrete, then it withstood all the water force. So what we did to build the, the platform part is we took four by six pressure treated lumber and we built this across and each board is bolted to the I-beam. And so we burn up two electric drills running off a generator just to drill the holes. So it was quite an ordeal, it took a long time, but it made a very, very substantial bridge. And now we've got a 65 horsepower Kubota tractor. It can go across this bridge without any problem whatsoever. And uh, so as you can see, it makes a pretty good bridge. Then we put some little kick rails on just to guide us across. But uh, it's a great bridge and if you, uh, or wondering how to build one. This is a heavy duty bridge, but if you want something really substantial, this is how we did it. So here's some evidence of some mud on top of the bridge, which lets us know that when the water was real high coming off the mountains this winter, that the water got up over the bridge. And that's another reason why we wanted to go ahead and put the pipe in the ground, the I-beam and concrete everything in because the water strength is really powerful coming down through there when it gets that high. So this bridge stayed perfectly in place even though the water force was pretty heavy through the winter. 